Yeah, good morning, Ty. Yeah, your St. Louis area chapter of the Red Cross. There are some volunteers who are getting ready to head out this morning down to Louisiana. As you heard Jamie talk about that Hurricane Ida about to make landfall tomorrow. We're going to talk with a lady coming up in just a little bit about that. It's wildfires in the West Coast. You've got flooding down, uh, down in Tennessee last week. And so the American Red Cross has been quite busy across the country. And tomorrow marks the 16th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina when it struck New Orleans. Residents in Louisiana dealing with this storm this weekend, they're expecting as much as 20 inches of rain. American Red Cross preparing shelters for thousands of people from Texas to the Florida Panhandle that will be affected. Uh, already truckloads of cots and blankets and comfort kits and 68,000 meals have been on their way to the Gulf Coast from Red Cross centers nearer to that Louisiana area. They're going to open up some hurricane evacuation centers and they've pre-stocked hospitals with blood supplies for transfusions and to make sure they're ready for what they're going to face this week. Red Cross always looking for volunteers and on a local level uh, uh, blood donors. If you'd like to help with the supply and demand, the nonprofit supplies about 40 percent of the nation's blood to hospitals and medical facilities across the country. So you can help them by donating blood. You can call them at 1-800-RED-CROSS and make an appointment. We're going to talk with a volunteer who's heading down to Louisiana and who's going to help work one of those evacuation centers as Hurricane Ida makes landfall tomorrow. In Creve Corps, Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News.